Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create an input field having a drop down and also we can able to filter the options ok let's start using a data list in react.js I will show you the demo here and if I click the input field means it will show an options here I already gave an three option I can able to choose this value or I can able to type ok if I type t means it will show the t type order ok and if I type w means it will filter ok if I I can able to choose this choose it directly ok it will print it at the bottom here ok let's start here I already created a react project and I am going to use this CSS and also I imported that CSS here ok here and here I am going to create an input ok and close it and here I am going to use a list ok I give a name as data after the list I am going to create a data list and I am going to close this data list and here I give an option ok it's 1 and I am going to duplicate this for uh, two ta 3 times and this is 2 and this is 3 and this is 4 save this ok I need to create a ID for this data list and paste that data here. Okay, save this. Yeah, here it it's created. If I click this input field means it will showing the options one two three what we created here. Okay, here okay this is and and also I can able to choose this and okay and also I can able to type okay T W uh, it will filter and if I type F means it will show the 4 ok or 1 oh, oh, it's showing ok and also I am going to dynamically generate this options and also I am going to get the value from the input field ok and display that value at the bottom of this input ok first I will dynamically generate this option here I am going to create a array const here I give a data ok data data ok it's data and here I create 1 2 3 and you can give like that ok etc I am going to copy this and I am going to remove this all or otherwise I can comment, comment it ok after this I am going to create a map for this data first time I pasted the data because I'm going to get the date this all array value okay so data dot map here I give a op okay it's, it's short form okay of option and I want to create the option close that and inside the option I type op ok and I save this go here and I refresh this yeah it will it's showing the option I can copy this for uh, copy or sorry sorry copy this and paste it for uh, multiple times and save that ok if I refresh this page and if I click this input field means it will it's showing the all options you can use it like that and if I type 1 means uh, it show the all O order and if I type T means it will showing the all T order ok it will accept the lower case and upper case ok sorry sorry yeah ok and I am going to get a value from this input field before that I need to create a one change ok sorry use state change only right ok here val set val use it yeah it's imported here ok it's in initially uh, empty string and I want to set the on change value of this input and here I create on sorry on change e paste that and e dot targeting the value ok yeah 
and also I give a placeholder for this input field it's such and I'm going to first I save this and I'm going to copy this val and after this data list and I create a h1 tag and paste that val inside the h1 tag and save this yeah I refresh this page and it will it's showing the whole list okay option list I can choose the two means it's printed at the bottom and also I can type okay it's filtered okay this is what I try to tell in this video if you like this video means like and subscribe and also comment okay thank you